number four, problem two. Let's add an extra row, so please add a fifth row to show me that you are watching these videos. And let's work out this example, and that will help you solve all of these problems up here where we are converting binary to decimal, octal, and hexadecimal. Here's a close-up view of that problem, that fifth row. And this is uh, base two binary. The easiest one probably to do is to do groups of four, first of all. And remember that for this one, we're just going to refer back to this chart. So 0, 1, 0, 1 is hexadecimal 5, and 1, 0, 0, 1 corresponds to hexadecimal number 9. This is base 16 when you're doing groups of 4, so that's going to be 59. And I'm writing the number, the subscript number 16, to indicate that that is hexadecimal. Rem remember that for octal, you're looking at groups of 3 instead. So let me pull up the octal chart. So here is a group of three, there is a group of three, and there is a group of three. So it's really understood that there's an extra zero out over here for that one. All right, looking at the first group of three, zero, zero, one corresponds to octal number one. And then zero, one, one corresponds to octal three. Zero, zero, 001 corresponds to 1, so our number is going to be 131 base 8. So that was 59 base 16 for hexadecimal, 131 base 8 for octal. So I'm writing the subscript 8 down there. Optional, but I just wanted to be clear. The decimal approach you might have a tendency to want to try to group these and get a number and put 59 for that, but that's not really the way that it works. This is different when it comes to converting binary to decimal. What you want to do is go back to um, your notes or some scratch paper, write down the number again, and um, above each number you want to write down uh, what it corresponds to in the decimal sense. So this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. If it has a 1, then we're going to include that number in, in our addition of numbers to get the decimal equivalent. So we're going to take 64 plus 16 plus 8 plus 1 gives us our decimal equivalent. That's 89. And this is the decimal equivalent, so that's the number that we write in this spot. 89 base 10. So here is that example. You can see that you get a different answer for each one. Hope that helps.